y'all, it's Courtney, and I'm back with a little video. Um, this is just like a little filler video. Uh, I still want to film my second part of my makeup video, um, with the box that my friend Kimmy D sent me. Um, lovely stuff. Uh, but I want to get her permission before I share the rest because there's something that she made by hand, and I want to make sure that she doesn't mind me showing it. I don't think she will, but I just want to ask her first, so... Once she gets back to me, I will film the second half because I want to show you guys everything that was in there. Because with the kids going through it and everything, it was hard to know what I had already looked at and what I had already showed. And then I ran out of space and it was just a mess. So, um, but I still wanted to put it up so that she could see my initial reactions to things. Um, but I'm going to do like a more, uh, just like kind of showing you guys each thing, um, probably tomorrow. So anyways, I just want to show you guys this because... Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's really adorable. It says, be a mermaid in a sea of fish. Isn't that adorable? And I'm going to put it on my little stand where I'm going to start doing my filming. And I've got my little, um, my little ring dish that has the mermaid tail coming out of it with the crystals all in it. Um, and a couple of little seashells scattered in. It's really, it's really aesthetic. Um, and then I've got a couple other things on there. A couple little Buddhas that um, I think I've showed you guys my little stand in my bedroom, but, um, I think I'm gonna start sitting in front of that, uh, just for aesthetic purposes, and then my, my big blue butterfly is on the picture frame, or in the picture frame on the wall behind that, so I figured that'd be some, a place that's, um, pretty to start filming. Um, so I'm gonna set this on that stand. Um, whenever I picked this up, I didn't realize, uh, but it has a little light in it. I didn't even realize that at first, but when I did realize, uh, I realized that it didn't work. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And the other ones on the thing worked, but this was the only one of these. So I was like, well, I'll get it anyways. It doesn't need to light up because I didn't even know it light, lit up whenever I first wanted to get it. Um, so I get it home and I tear it open to do what I wanted to do. And now, of course, it's lighting up. Eh, cute, you know, whatever. That's nice, but not for what I want. So, they have their Halloween stuff out. Um, or they're starting to put Halloween stuff out. And that's why I wear my skull scarf today, because I've seen some Halloween stuff out in stores. And the first moment that I see Halloween stuff out in stores, I start wearing my, my Halloween attire. My, um, Halloween-esque scarves and my skull earrings and that kind of stuff because Halloween or fall or autumn is my absolute favorite time of the year. I got a couple little um, fall decorations. I'll show you guys that tomorrow in that video too. I'll just kind of add that stuff in. But anyway, so I went into the Halloween stuff and I got myself this little thingy right here and I put my little batteries in there before this so it wouldn't take forever and I didn't have to screw with it and unscrew this part and you know do all that. So I went ahead and did it. So here's my little fairy lights, or LED lights, whatever you want to call them. Let me untangle these right, y'all. Can't have any tanglies. I'm not like they're not going to get tangled in there, you know. So I did this once, but I'm going to go ahead and put them back in just to show you guys how I did it. Not like it takes any skill or anything. I literally just shoved them up in there. Um, but how I did it was I just took this, and instead of like shoving them all in a ball... I just kind of fed them up in there, um, so they wouldn't just look like a clump in there, and I kind of like shoved some up further to the top, some up further to the top, left some down closer to the bottom, and just made sure they stayed untangled so they didn't look like a giant hairball in there or something. Let me feed them all up in there. just trying to, I'm not doing it as neatly as I did earlier because I just kind of want to get them in there to show you guys the effect. It was a lot prettier looking earlier because I had them, you know, in a way that was more aesthetic. Oh, foam, don't you dare fall. I see you starting to pop open. This daggone thing. Alright, um, so I mainly 
you got the gist in there. Let me pull around a little bit and get them a little prettier looking like I had them earlier. Yeah, because they're not as nice looking as I had them earlier. Because I kind of did it a little bit too fast. You probably, you guys probably can't hear what the hell I'm saying because I'm looking down talking. I'm just trying to get them like, uh, you know, not, not all in one spot. I'm trying to get them all even. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here and then I'm going to tape that back probably and then tape the pack. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to put this back on and kind of like tape that back on and then probably okay, flip it like this and then tape this, tape this part probably like this. So it's not visible when you're have it on. Um, and what you get is this little pretty thing. Let me turn off the lights. Can't really see what the words say, but like I said, I also don't have them fixed up like I want. I'm hoping once I have them all fixed up the way that I'm wanting them, you'll be able to actually read what it says. But I love that you can actually see the outline of the fairy. And what I really love is it almost looks kind of like the galaxy or like stars or something like that in there. Because it's not like one bright light. It's like little tiny dots of light here and there. Isn't that so cool looking? And I literally spent $2 to do this. So... I just thought it was like, you know, I just thought it was like a little neat DIY that, you know, anybody can do. You can do with your kids or whatever. Um, my daughter kind of helped, but she, uh, you know, she gets a little too wild sometimes. So I was like, okay, let me do this part. But anyways, um, yeah, so a little $2 DIY. Um, and I think it looks really good. So I'm going to set that on my little table. Uh, where I'm going to start doing my filming once I get it all set up in there. Um, anyways, uh, I have like three videos I want to do. Hopefully I'm going to do two of them tomorrow. And then like I said, I'm going to do that interview with my husband sometime this weekend because I want to get that out. Um, I think that's a really important video to do um, for people that are curious about methadone. Um, there's not a whole lot of information or opinions about methadone. There's a lot of information about Suboxone, but not a lot about methadone, so I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get that done by the end of this weekend and have it up, so there's that. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I hope you're spending it with somebody that you love, and uh, yeah, have a great night, guys. Bye.